Sweden. We of the province of Elfdale do confess that we used to go to a gravel pit, which lays hard by a crossway, and there we put on a vest over our heads and then danced round, and after this ran to the crossway and called the devil thrice, first in a still voice, the second time somewhat louder, and the third time very loud with these words, Antecessor, come and carry us to Blockola! Whereupon immediately he used to appear, but in different habits, but for the most part we saw him in a grey coat and red and blue stockings. He had a red beard, a high-crowned hat, with linen of diverse colours wrapped about it, and long garters upon his stockings. Then he asked us whether we would serve him with body and soul. If we were content to do so, he set us upon a beast, which he had there already, and carried us over churches and high walls, and after all we came to a green meadow where Blockola lies. They unanimously confessed that Blockula is situated in a large meadow, like a plain sea, wherein you see no end. The place or house they met at had before it a great gate, painted with many diverse colours on it, through this gate they went into a little meadow distant from the other where the beasts went, which they used to ride on. In a huge, large room of the house, they said, there stood a very large, long table at which the witches did sit down, and that hard by this room was another chamber where there were some lovely and delicate beds. The first thing they said they must do at Blockola was that they must deny all and devote themselves body and soul to the devil and promise to serve him faithfully and confirm it with an oath. Hereupon they cut their fingers and writ their names in his book. After this they sat down to table, and those that the devil esteemed most were placed nearest to him. But the children must stand at the door, where he himself gives them meat and drink.